Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Mods 4. This episode we're going to do, we're going to carry on with what we did last time. Where I developed an external program uh, and used the programmer to change it. This time we're going to have a look at how to debug the program in a different way. So let's get started. So this was basically the program and in the drone I had a program just to run the external program. What I've done here is I removed the updates of the labels uh, of the sign. Could put them back in again, but I don't think we need it. Because what we're going to do is we're going to just look through this program. It's exactly the same as it was before. So it's going to be basically checking whether we've got a bucket, and uh, let's do it here, a bucket of molten plastic. If it has got a button, it's going to go over here, and then it's going to pick it up from a chest, and then it's going to put it down into another chest. In fact, it's going to pick it up from the auto clicker. And then if it hasn't got it, it's going to pick up an empty bucket from the from the chest and put that back into the auto clicker. It's here, so it's not so easy to label the two things. But this what address this point here, one six one sixty three ninety, is the location of the chest where this goes into here. It's the same one. This position here is where it's the auto clicker. So it's basically one six three six three eight seven. In these three cases, it's where it's going to pick up the, sorry, the, the, it's going to put stuff into it or take stuff out of the auto clicker. And this is the check one. So that's all we have to do. So what we do now is we put the, the drone into here and program the drone directly rather than to use the network API. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this drone down quickly and we're going to enable the enter tracker. Let's just have a look. I want, I don't want that one. I want control U. So I've got drone debugging enabled and I want entity tracker enabled, enabled as well. And it's doing star drone, it's the filter. So now we put the drone down here like that. And then we can control left click on it like this and then control U, if I got that right. So you'll see it's actually done something. It's come back over here and it's now sitting, hopefully it's sitting ready to pick stuff up from this. I guess it can't go to here because it's going to pick it up. So let's have a look in this chest here. We've got an, an empty bucket in here. So let's look at the drone again. And this should be have some text in it. Unfortunately, this startup, it varies depending on when you start the game. So let's have a look. No, I want that one and I want, yes, I want this one. <laughs> it's a bit awkward. And then I want, I want to do, enable the enter tracker and then enable the debugging on the drone. I haven't done that. So let me do press control U and we should see drone debugging here we go so we should see it's going through the process now so it's checking to see whether we've got a bucket of molten plastic we haven't so then it goes over here no plastic which is just basically going through this route here so then it's basically trying to take an empty bucket out of the other chest and put it in here well the, the other chest hasn't got an empty bucket in it so it's not doing anything so it's just saying here that it's gone to standby mode so that's what it's doing. So now if we actually pick up in here and put in a bucket of plastic, take that one out, put this one in, and then control U again, hopefully, we should see it going over this side and dumping the chest into here. In fact, it's a bit too quick, we didn't see it. But if we look in this chest now, we'll see we've got plastic sheets in here. Take those out again, let's just prove it again. Because the only thing that's actually not happening here is I haven't got any coal. Um, let me just turn off the entity tracker a second. So in this thermo pneumatic processing plant, there's no coal. So let's put a piece of coal into that into here. It's been taken. It's going to be processed. Let's come back to the drone here and then Control U and Control D on it. No, it's actually mm -hmm. debugged already. Control U. We should see it's waiting, still waiting for this. Now it's got the plastic, so it should come over here. As you saw, it's going over here and it should have dropped it off. In fact, that actually went through this loop faster. So, this back, when we come back here, we should still have an empty bucket in here, which we have, and we should have two more sheets of plastic in here, which we have one to two sheets of plastic so that's the automation of that and that's how you can debug the drone program before with a just a logistics program let's have a look at that let's do that as well you can't see all of that let's just grab this drone here like this 
let's come back into here and oh wrong one I keep doing that let's have a look at this let's save this program out of the drone let's put the drone out of here and then should we do it like this that'll hold the pieces let's come over to the clip pad here and then let's upload to save to clipboard okay so it's now saved in the clipboard drop up delete everything so everything goes away and then we can program that into the drone and that'll give us all our pieces back again take the drone out of here put in a network api here like this and then we want to put the program back in again so let's come back here and then we can paste from the clipboard like that so we should see the program as it was defined hopefully identically and try and move everything up to do it here don't i left click it and drag it left drag it there so then we can say plastic we haven't given this a name yet i'm sure i'm typing the letters but they're not coming out okay plastic program <laughs> it's really weird it's not i'm actually pressing keys so we can then save that into here so that's now saved take that out of here put the drone back in again and program it with the drone program so the drone program is we'll get rid of all of this because that's now stored into the there what we need is a start piece an end piece and then execute external program piece because that needs an area piece which we have to specify and then we just need to stop piece or standby we don't even need a standby piece as it happens so let's save out some of that and program this one so this one is going to be the program itself if you remember rightly like that and then simply left click this into here and then program the drone So what's now going to happen, we need to put the network API back into here, plastic program, and then just put the drone down here like this. Well try to <laughs> if we can get in the way. And then we'll have a and then we'll have a look at what the program drone is doing here. Um control left. God, they're a nuisance. <laughs> they're a real nuisance. I really probably should set up a drone to to just to kill them. <laughs> Drone tackle disabled, enabled, and no, it's, and then control U. So there you see the program. All it's doing is that it's doing nothing. It's just running an external program. You don't see it doing anything else. I'll tell you what, we'll do. We'll pick up and put the stop piece in. You will see it. If you put the stop piece into this, you will see it do something. So let's put the drone like. Let's put that. You should then move between the stop piece and that. So. Here's a standby piece, it's called. I just forgot to take this out of here now. Program the drone in it. It was the right one. Area external program, yes. So now it's got the start and the standby piece in it. Take it out again. And then put the network AP back in again. Where's the drone gone to? There it is. So let's put this down again. And then do control. I think I need to redo the trend. Not sure which one I have to do. There we go. So now we should just see it's doing nothing. It's just running main. In fact, you can look at the bottom here. It's actually telling you no plastic main. So it's actually running this and you can't see anything going on in here. So if we go back here and now put the piece of a bucket of plastic in here as we have done before there's a 15 empty buckets there must be an oops try again I think the man not the thing let's put one more piece of coal into here that should be processed it's got some plastic in there now and then it'll come along here right click this if I can reach so it's got an empty bucket in here that should click after however many seconds it's there we go so now it's got some plastic in that drone should pick it up as you can see it's come along here it's taken it it's put it into here got two pieces of plastic it's come back and it's putting this 
debug it again. Unfortunately, you can't debug it. It would be brilliant if you could debug that. When the network API is in here, you could debug the network API and not just the, the program. Then you could make life a lot easier. Anyway, that's enough for drone programming. One of the reasons I'm stopping the series is because the drones aren't working as well as they should be. I have done a test world, and in the test world I've set this up as well. Now this is just three craft sink crafters, and what they're doing is this one's making basically mirrors and oak planks. So it's requesting some oak logs, some iron, and, and some glass. So if you have a look at this, I'll go back over here like that. So it's, it's actually asking for two logs, because if I make this just, oh, gone, just gone away, let's just do that again. Um, in fact, probably the best thing to do is take some oak logs out of this chest, if there are any in here. Yes, there are good. This is where it's taking everything from. So if I, on the request here, I want to say, I want one piece of oak, like that. Put the logistics drone down. Oh, if I've got it with me, I haven't got it with me, just over here, let's go and get it. The logistics drone will do a large area. Um, but I've also programmed up a drone which is, which is doing the same thing as a logistics drone. But this one doesn't do anything. This just one just um, it's got ten bar and it's got a standby upgrade in it, and that's it. And this one's basically everything. Does what does what the um, the drone does. In fact, let's have a look at that. It would be worth sensible having a look at this. I think the one I didn't want to do. Now I'll try again. So let's, so that's in this drone. So let's just remove this from out of here like that. Put this drone into here. And then have a look at this program. Centre it like this. As you can see, all it's doing is, is I've got this logistics piece here and an area. We can preview the area and the area will be over here. In fact, you can't see it from here, but we'll go over here. You can see that's the area it's processing or looking for items. It's a shame we've lost the colours on these today. It's one of those things that comes and goes, so we speak. Right, I want the drone out of it, don't I? Let's put the drone back again. Let's put the network API back that one and put, bring the program out again. Like that. And then come down and put this drone. Oh, I didn't turn off the area. I think I can do that from here anyway. Let's put it down here like this. And then control left arrow will debug it. Control U. Yes, you see, this is behaving as I was expecting the other one to behave. So you can right click this area and right click to stop previewing. Aha. Uh -huh. I'm going to have to go back and do that in the programmer. Right, I'll be back in a second when that's done in the programmer. So now you see this is basically doing If I right click this again, uh, turn on the debug control and U, you can then preview the area from here. That would have been easier. So you can then see that. Normally you'd expect to see this as a. Don't do this with the logistics drone, you'll get so much lag you can't see what's going on. Um, control U again and then just hide that. Right click it again, turns it off. Now this one should be putting some wood into here it's got at the moment it's got one piece of oh it's actually got wood in it oh so why is it not processing that wood to make logs and maybe i've got this wrong let's have a look oak logs apply forget the remembered layout that of course yes that's correct. I've got this turned off. On to activate it. Um, I need a lever. I think I've got a lever in a bag here. Let's just have a quick look. Not in that one. Not in that one. Maybe in the white one. Where did that disappear to? This has got a lever in here. So to activate this. I'm just thinking, will it work if I do it that way? Maybe, maybe it will work actually. So that's off. So now we activate it. So this then should have processed. Let's right click this. So it has processed that wood. But there's no wood in here now. But this requesting frame here 
is asking for one piece of wood. Let's turn it off again. So now when I come along here and I want to request two pieces of wood, the drone is going to pick it up and put a piece of wood in here. Now this problem you're seeing here is this, it's requesting two and in here there's only one. It's actually just specific to my world. That's why I decided I'm going to start again with a new series. So as soon as I enable this again, it's going to take that away and bring back another piece of wood until I turn it off again. So that's making, as you can see, it's making oak planks. The oak planks are getting transferred into this one here. So we've got a lot of oak planks in here and that's making some pistons. You'll see that that number is increasing. The reason it's increasing is I've got a transfer gadget between the two. That's also from Pneumatic after Pressurized. And you must basically put this piece down, put the transfer gadget on, put another inventory beside it, and it will transfer the items into here. Quite slowly, but it does work. So, for example, in here we have... Um, what do we need in here? We have three of those, that's no problem. One redstone and five planks. But this is also disabled, so let's put this down here like that. So now it's going to go off and it's going to get redstone. Let's just check this again now. But I'm getting pushed around by the thing here. So it's actually requesting two pieces of redstone. Do that again. It's going to sit here. The reason it's sitting here is the same problem as before. There's no redstone in here. But this is requesting a redstone. We've got one. As soon as I increase that to two, you'll see it starts to work again. See if I can just turn off this lever here. <laughs> Don't think I can. I'm just going for this out. And we rick up with that piece anyway. Oops. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, you have to shoot it, then it gets out of the way. So now I've got one piece of redstone in here. And what that's been making is been making solar panel tier ones, which will then be coming into here. So we've got 21 solar panel tier ones. And it should also be making pistons. And we haven't got any pistons in here because we haven't got any pistons in here. We've got enough wood. Ha! Ah, because I've got a rubbishy recipe. That shouldn't be mirrors. Oh, that's right, yes. <laughs> so we've got four cobblestone. We've got one redstone. We've got one iron ingot. And three planks. Now, I think the planks might be just the wrong type. Let's just correct that. And apply that and it should have made a filter now that's turned on to activate it see now the filter's been made uh, the piston's been made that should have come across here and we should have made a uh, yes we have we've got a solar panel tip two also at the same time i was doing this chest testing over here with the chest uh, making sure that this is actually if I want two pieces of cobbled stone in here there actually aren't any left I don't think two pieces I oh, has got two pieces oh we've got plenty in here that's fine so it just seems to be that for my case there's one piece hello this is my test world I only set up the test world to see if the logistics drones were working properly because according to test they work fine and 1.114 so this is exactly just a creative world flat world super flat and let's see what happens with the drones so here i have a, a, a logistics drone and if you remember rightly these logistics drone, drones are not doing anything in my base so here all i've done is to be chest with a passive provider frame and in this frame we have uh, some cobblestone nothing very much really just uh, almost two stacks of cobblestone and in here i've got some cobblestone which is basically this is a requested frame and it's requesting I thought it was requesting it's just requesting two pieces of cobblestone so let's put the cobblestone back in here now like that and then let's put the drone down you'll see I've got a few bits and pieces with me here, mostly because there were lots of mobs spawning around here so I just had some ways to keep them away so I set up some uh, <laughs> machine guns and uh, and some dread uh, a dread lancer actually to keep away the passive mobs and mega torches are there to keep away the aggressive mobs so let's have a look. let's just put down this drone and see what happens 
Sure enough, he goes off and he picks up two pieces of cobblestone and puts it into this chest here. So let's just take out one of those pieces of cobblestone. And sure enough, he brings back another one. This is exactly what we want. So let's just reconfigure this now. Let's say we want uh, only one piece of cobblestone in here. Like that. Oops. Actually, I did that the wrong way around. He's actually put... Try again. So we've got three pieces of cobble curtain. Let's take those away. And sure enough, it's working just as it should do. Um, just requesting cobble stone. It doesn't matter about anything else being in the chest. As you, as you can see, there's other bits and pieces in here. And this one's a provider frame. Actually, it's not really a provider frame. This one, this one's just basic <laughs> drops. I was filling up the drops and putting them into here. There's actually it's full. Um, and on this one here, this was the same thing. I wanted to have in here one piece of cobblestone. I've got one piece of cobblestone in there. No recipes to find. Um, let's have a look at the, what it says in here. It's requesting no items. So let's request one piece of cobblestone. Like that. And the drone shouldn't do anything until we until we take this one out. Let's just remove. Let's just come along here. Remove this one. And sure enough, it's put another one in. So that's working just fine. Let's do. The, do you want to do that again? So let's go back over here. Do it from this side. So he goes off and he picks it up and he drops it back into here. And it's very fast. I think I put some upgrades in this one. See as it happens. You can put speed upgrades in it. Um, but you can't see that from here. Can I see it if I get onto the drone itself? No. I can break it. And you can, when you break it, you can see in there that you've actually got some speed upgrades. It makes it go faster. And the standby upgrade to save the, the air pressure. And that's basically it. So that's my test world, so it works just fine. So that is why I'm stopping the series now, because in my other world it just doesn't make any sense to carry on. So that's it, the end of this series. Um, next time I think we shall carry on with Pneumatocraft, so I'm going to change to Minecraft version 115 because all the love and attention is getting put into Minecraft 115 for the mods, especially Pneumaticraft, which is what I'm going to be doing. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.